You're crossing. Actually, it kind of worn off. RG 14A 8U. CTMVA. Anyway, it's a. Uh, one of these igniters has a crack in it. So we have to take we have to take these caps off. So all these little nuts and bolts have to come off. And on this one, there's these two under here that have to come off. And we have to take this panel off and this top up. Let's take this up. Once we get these disconnected, we can pull this up. These also have to be disconnected to pull this up. Otherwise, you'll bend the burners and tubes and you'll have more problems than you need. And so, yeah, that's what you need to do to replace that igniter. Um, it fastens from the underside here. Once you take this off, loosen all these, and then you'll be able to pull this up. There's probably some screws underneath here that you can take off to pull that out. Watch out for this. <laughs> it has a type of spade connector on the on the end of it. And looks like it's got a little clip, a retainer clip that holds it up in there. You can see there's just kind of greasy in there. These things tend to get greasy and then they they won't uh, conduct the electricity enough to create a good spark. And so and there's a couple of different kinds. There's like the mushroom style that have a bigger uh, electrode around the edge. And then there's this style that has a small straight tip kind of edge on it. Okay, so plan B is we're going to get some cleaner. We might be able to use WD-40 and some scotch Bright, And we're going to clean up all this greasy stuff here. And hopefully that will make it work. Um, so yeah, this cap has these little screws, the itty bitty screws on them. And so typically those are harder than the devil to get off. You can soak them in WD-40 sometimes. And this thing is a... Uh, like a three sixteenths size nut, and that's how you get that off. Okay, so you can see some of these will have, like this one has this little port right here in the center of that tip, that little hole right there. You have to make sure that hole is nice and clear. There may be one somewhere else, but just look for that hole like this one. Here, that, there's a hole in there. You can see that hole. Just make sure that's clear. Make sure all that's clear in there. Well, that's your Crosley tip for today. Thanks for watching. If you need any help, you can contact me 707-443-8347. I give phone advice for $25.